Ever wondered how to make the traditional Punjabi dish Maki Ki Rab? Well, the wait ends right here. Dive into this culinary journey and unravel the secrets of this comforting dish, traditionally savoured during the chill of winter. First off, gather the ingredients. You'll need 1 cup of maki ka atta or corn flour, 4 cups of buttermilk, 2 tablespoons of ghee or clarified butter, and a variety of spices, a teaspoon of cumin seeds, half a teaspoon each of mustard seeds, fenugreek seeds, and asafoetida. Also, prepare half a teaspoon of green chili, finely chopped, an inch of ginger, grated, and half a cup each of chopped onions and tomatoes. For an optional twist, include half a cup of chopped spinach. For seasoning, keep salt, half a teaspoon of turmeric powder, and a teaspoon of red chili powder handy. And finally, fresh coriander leaves for garnish. Start by preparing the buttermilk. Whisk together the maki, kaata, and buttermilk until smooth and lump-free. Then it's time to cook the maki kirab. Heat the ghee in a heavy-bottomed pan or kadai. Add the cumin seeds, mustard seeds, fenugreek seeds, and asafoetida, and let them splutter. Now, add the chopped green chili and grated ginger and sauté for a minute. Follow with the chopped onions, cooking until they turn translucent. Next, add the chopped tomatoes and cook until they are soft and the oil starts to separate. If you're using spinach, add it now and cook until it wilts. Now, for the spices and seasoning, add salt, turmeric powder, and red chili powder, and mix well. The next step is to pour in the buttermilk mixture, slowly and while continuously stirring to avoid lumps. Cook the mixture on low to medium heat, stirring continuously as it thickens. Be patient and keep stirring until the mixture comes to a boil. Once it boils, reduce the heat to low and let it simmer for about 15 to 20 minutes, stirring occasionally. Check the consistency. If it's too thick, you can add more buttermilk or water to adjust. Once the rab is cooked and reaches the desired consistency, turn off the heat. Garnish with fresh coriander leaves and serve hot. Maki ki rab can be enjoyed on its own or with a side of maki ki roti. Enjoy your warm and comforting bowl of maki ki rab. For more delightful and finger-licking recipes, visit www.indianrecipebook.com. Show your support by liking, subscribing and sharing our videos. Bon appétit!